Hello guys, in today's video I'm showing you best settings for highest FPS and reduced input delay. Most of you probably know that higher FPS means lower input lag and vice versa, lower FPS means higher input lag. So capping your FPS is technically increasing your input lag, but it's making it more stable. If you cannot maintain a stable high FPS, then it's best to cap it. As your FPS is unstable, your input lag will be too. And today I am putting to a test several different settings you can do to massively decrease that input lag. As you can see right now, I am standing in the middle on the map split, aiming my crosser at the white dot in the orb. I currently have uncapped FPS, as you can see in the top left, and my GPU frame time is around 2.4, 2.5, 2.6. And you can see on the right side graph that shows how stable or, or unstable it is. I have everything set on low to increase my FPS as high as possible. And my FPS is unlimited. And I'm currently having 370 FPS. Which in my case is pretty unrealistic as I usually have around 200 FPS in a normal game. So in my case, I would cap that FPS to 144. When I cap my FPS to 144, pay attention to what happens to GPU frame time. It jumps from 2.4 to 6.6, 6.7. So my input lag has been increased by almost 4 milliseconds. In the second test, I'm standing again in the same position but this time I have my FPS capped to 144 and my GPU frame time is not 6.6 but it's 2.4 and if you can see in the settings I don't have my FPS limited in game but in this case I limited my FPS in my Nvidia GPU drivers so what does that mean? it means that capping your FPS via GPU in my case NVIDIA, in your case you might have AMD, they both have their own FPS limiters. They significantly decrease your input lag when you cap your FPS. So if you want to cap your FPS, I suggest you use it via your GPU drivers. Don't use the in-game FPS limiter, because it increases your input lag. So what is the best out of these three? I would say it depends on what FPS you can get. In unlimited FPS, if you can hold above 240 FPS at all times, then you don't need to cap it. If you can hold it above 240, then you should cap it at around 10 or 15 FPS under the lowest you can get. So for example, if the lowest you can get is 200, then you should cap it at around 190 FPS. In my case, the highest I can get is around 220 FPS and the lowest doesn't go below 144 FPS and since I have 144 Hz monitor then I cap it on 144 but with Nvidia or AMD FPS limiter in drivers do not cap your FPS with in-game limiter also remember that capping your FPS at 144 with Nvidia gives you the same GPU frame times as having unlimited 370 max FPS but let's be real, you will almost never be able to maintain that high FPS in a game with 9 other players. This is gonna be it for today. Hope this helps you and hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I read them all and I try to answer to those that I can help with. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on Twitch and Twitter. If you want to know when I'm live streaming and when a new Valorant video drops. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.